got my third and final $250 That Spider-Man Booth Superior V10 comic book mystery box. So my first one opened up, you've already seen. I hit a pretty big signed comic out of that one. Crazy value in that box. The second box that you saw, I got a CGC graded original sketch cover by a very popular current comic book artist. Huge hit. Second box, extreme value in that one also. This is my third and final box I purchased from the Superior V10 run. The first two were just fantastic. Extremely happy I bought them. I got so many comics to add to my collection. The comics that I don't want art prints, I'm selling them on eBay. So yeah, anything from this that you see that you might want, and if I choose to sell it, it'll be in my eBay store, directly to my eBay down below in the description box. Check it out if you wanna buy anything. Third box, final box, here we go. So hopefully this has something pretty big in it. But um, the first two boxes were freaking home runs. So uh, even if this one doesn't have anything big like the first two boxes, I'm still extremely happy with this run of mystery boxes. Very happy with this run of mystery boxes. They hit it out of the park this time. Spear V10 so far from my personal boxes, some of the best value they've done so far. So I'm looking forward to watching other YouTubers open up their boxes, seeing people on, on Instagram post what they got, because these boxes were just good this time. Let's open this thing up. Let's see if we have a normal size box or we have a slab size box on the inside. Okay, so we don't have a slab this time, but that is fine. We So this is not a slabbed one. Pull this out first. We got some stickers. Here's the actual box here that's gonna have 10 comic books in it. And uh, if you have a slabbed one, the slab box is like that long. So that's how you know you don't have a slab. But just because you don't get slabbed doesn't mean that's gonna be bad because my first box was not a slab box. And my main hit in that box was like 200 bucks. So just because you don't get a slab does not mean you don't get a good box. Trust me on that. Go with the poster tube. This, is, this has a, a one, looks like three art prints in this one. My second box only had two art prints in it, and it had probably the biggest hit. Actually, had I think possibly one of the bigger hits to get out of this entire run. I think maybe. Don't know for sure though. Cool. Looks like this. It's actually signed by two people. Signature on that side. Signature on that side. Signed by Gomez. And not sure. Oh, it's this triple sign. Signature, signature, and signature. That sign. So it's triple signed. I'm gonna do some research, figure out who actually signed all that. That's the first print. Triple signs. That's not bad. Yeah, this I won't keep this one. Uh, you can't keep all your art prints because you just don't have room to store them all and display them all. So I'm kind of picky about which art prints I actually keep because uh, I do like to display my art prints. So like that one, I won't keep. The next one. Oh, I'm keeping this one. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that is awesome. Oh then oh the next one's even cool. Oh, okay. So this one looks like I think that's Boss Logic signature. And I'm actually gonna get this one framed. So we kind of have a an image that's kind of like a inspired by the Last Supper with Jesus Christ, but this is the Marvel uh, MCU. I mean, you got you got a, your 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 guys here. You got your Wong, your Winter Soldier, the Falcon. You got Captain America, Spider Man, Groot, Iron Man, Black Widow. You know, uh, I don't see Thorn here. You know, there's Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Loki. Where is Thor? I don't see Thor. Oh. Oh, well, that's him. It's like a side profile. Anyway, but yeah, super cool. Pretty sure that signature is Boss Logic. Pretty sure. So yeah, this one, I'm going to keep that print. That one's mine. That one's staying in my collection. The next one, that's actually a pretty cool print. Numbered 41 out of 100. It is not autographed, but it is just an art print. And it's kind of awesome. I don't know if I'll keep it, though. 50 50 probably not if it was signed by like jim lee or somebody i might keep it but yeah pretty cool though but yeah i'm keeping keeping that that's actually a very very cool print on there so there we go there's the first three things all three art prints uh, good value in just those alone actually 
And I gotta figure out who signed that first one that was like triple sign. Gotta figure out who all of those are from. So now we're going to the actual box here. Have 10 comics in this box. The Superior V10. My last one, here we go. Okay, don't wanna peek too much. What's going on? I think the top, I think the best hit's probably right here. I couldn't see it, so try to avoid looking at it. Let me just try to open this thing up without seeing too much. You might have just seen it actually. I might have just shown the camera. It's usually that bottom one, at least in my first box, that bottom one was the best hit out of all of them. I'm trying to keep it a secret for myself. I don't want to see it until the very end. So, halfies, do like that. Okay, there we go. So cover up with this. Oh, you can make sure you tune in to the Superior, uh, the Superior V10 show on Instagram and YouTube on uh, May 11th. You can actually win more prizes whenever you purchase box. So here we go. First one. Show you first. Looks like we got a Harley Quinn cover. We got Harley Quinn, You're the Villain, at number one, a Virgin variant. Pretty cool cover. I probably won't keep it, honestly. You can't keep them all. And the ones I don't want, I usually sell them on eBay. And next one, this one feels a little bit thicker. This might be the Flash 750. Yep. So actually, this is, I have two of these now, this cover from this box. And the other one I had was just like a single Flash. So I'll be selling that one on eBay. So I don't keep a whole lot of Flash, just some. Has to be like, you know, a first appearance or something for me to keep a Flash. This one's also a thick one. We've got Wonder Woman, number 750. Pretty cool cover. I know I've got like four or five of this comic, probably more than that, all from Torpedo Comics because they probably had a dozen variant covers or five, six, eight, I don't know, they had a bunch. So yeah, I don't keep a whole lot of the uh, Wonder Woman 750. I kept a few, but this one's actually pretty cool. I might, I might keep this one. We'll see. Yeah, pretty cool. Next one. Oh, I looked at it. This is actually the third one I've got of this cover. Looks like each box got one of these. This is Wolverine number one, the Unknown Comics variant. Super cool cover though. I mean, that's a freaking awesome cover. Virgin variant, about 40 bucks. I think it sells for like 30 to 35. It's a nice book though. I have three of them. I'm actually I'm gonna keep all three of them actually. Because I really like Wolverine. Oh, the next one, I kind of peeked at it. This is the exclusive Spider-Woman number one, Street Level Hero exclusive. You can only get this cover in this mystery box. So I think it was limited to 250. That's all that was made. So uh, this is going to be probably the rarest Spider-Woman number one cover from this uh, new comic. So if you got one of these out of your box, which we all did, I'd hang on to it. Just see what prices might do on it. You never know. We've got like three left maybe. Next one, there's a cool cover. The back of it, there's a, cert cer a certificate. It says, Web of Venom, Funeral Pyre number one, NYCC Fire Virgin Variant, limited to 600 copies, this is number 79 out of 600. That's pretty cool. A limited one, so we're about 40 bucks. Yeah, not, not a huge fan of the cover though. Not a huge fan. So I'll probably will sell this one more than likely, honestly. And then, next we have Which one's this one feels like not as thick as the other ones. Oh, nice. Hell Arisen number three. This is the full first appearance of Punchline in this one. Every other one's been like really thick. This one's actually like the, the first like thin comic book. Everything else has been like a thicker book. But yeah, these um they actually are going for between 40 and 50 bucks on eBay right now. I've uh I've I've actually I got a few of these now. I got a few when it first came out, and uh, yeah, this is one I would hold on to, Punchline. This is her first full appearance, um, pretty popular character, so I would, if you, if you have this one, I would hold on to it, my personal opinion, just in case. Next one, I actually glanced at it by accident. C2E2 exclusive, oh, it's a nice one now. 
It's the Turtles Recover number 102 C2E2 exclusive. Cool one. But I don't collect anything Turtles, so I actually will be selling this one. So I'm actually pretty good value to it. It's a C2E2 exclusive. Next one. Back of it has a certificate on the back one, too. What is it? Signed by Michael Turner. Family Ties Part 1. Cool looking cover, though. Back says certificate, Michael Turner, J. Comey Comics and Amazing Comic Conventions. J. It's actually, it was, this is a certificate from his own website, J. Comics, J. Company Comics .com. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Not sure if I'll keep it, though. I have to kind of look into this a little bit more, but yeah, not a bad, bad cover. And we have, oh, this is the last one. This is it. Show the camera first. What do we get? We got, oh, a cool one. Justice League number 10, signed by Jim Lee, worth about 50 bucks, it says. Back has a certificate on it, signed by Jim Lee. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, actually, the third box was probably the least impressive in terms of, like, wow factor. But there was a lot of really good value comics in here. My first, actually, I say my best box was my second box. Um, all those will be down below in the description box if you want to see them. This one, honestly, probably the best hit with the best potential is going to be Hell Arisen number three. That's a nice hit. So out of this one, uh, I've got so many Jim Lee signed comic books. i got so many. Uh, I probably won't keep this. Um, this other one, I'm not sure if I'll keep it, but I'll keep Hell Arisen and uh, the Wolverine variant cover, the Street Level Hero, Spider Woman cover. That might be about it. And then the one art prints, everything else, I'll be selling on eBay to recoup my money. But the value for this, it was still way over $250 when I paid for it. It was way over what I paid. So I'm still happy with the value. Um, you know, there were several books in there, probably worth, you know, 50 bucks a piece. So the value was good. It didn't really have the huge wow factor. They didn't have that one big comic in it like the first two did. But all in all, this V10 run was fantastic. Uh, value was good and I'm happy with them. And I'll be buying more when they release the version three on May 15th. So I'll see you next time and I'm out. Carrot cake.